If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this video, we are going to learn about a brand new tool called HTTP Runner, which is an open source API load testing tool. It is very easy to use, easy to get started and pretty easy to learn. It supports HTTPS, HTTP2, WebSocket, RPC protocol, and it has a rich plugin mechanism. And it's very highly scalable, meaning you can run your test by uh, distributing your load across multiple machines, just like any other tool like JMeter, LoadRunner or NeoLoad. And it comes with Apache uh, 2.0 license. And it borrows several concepts from the uh, very known tools like Locust, Boomer, uh, JMeter and LoadRunner. We are going to see it in a moment, those features in a demo. And it has written in Golang. So there are multiple versions, but the V4 version of HTTP runner is written in Golang and it supports the a test case concept. Basically, you can write your test case either in configuration files such as YAML or JSON, or you can write handwritten using a Go test or PyTest format. And it supports both Golang and Python execution engine. But I prefer uh, executing in Golang because it will yield more uh, performance than Python. And it's very easy to install. You have to just uh, download the uh, binaries and just put it in the uh, bin. You are uh, good to go. Or you can use the existing uh, shell script, which will uh, install all these stuffs for you. But sometimes those one click deployment script might not work in your flavor of uh, Linux, but definitely you can uh, try it out and it supports recording and you can generate test cases using uh, HIR, uh, Postman, Curl or Swagger. So basically you can convert to and fro and it supports monitoring using Prometheus. And as I said, it supports a distributed load testing model. So now let us see some of the core concepts of a HTTP runner. As I mentioned earlier, you can write your test case either in config file such as YAML or JSON, or you can write your own code using PyTest or GoTest. And the structure is you will have a root directory and inside the root directory, you will have your test cases. And also you can define your variables, environment variables, and you can also write your own functions. And there are plugins for which is based on Go and Python. Now let us see how you can get started. So by Executing this bash script, it will automatically install everything for you. But I tried in Fedora box, but this will didn't work actually. So I came up with my own alternative steps, which we are going to see it in a demo. And this is how your first simple hello world test looks in HTTP runner. So first you will have the the first uh, section is for your configuration. So config object will have a name and you can add your optional variables and you can uh, add the base URL. Suppose if you don't want to add anything uh, in here, you can do it in the .env file. So automatically it reads from the .env file. For example, a protocol, you can put it there, a base URL, port number, or some uh, version so that you can put all the uh, known configuration which will not change frequently you can put it in the env file and once you've done defining your configuration then you can define your test steps so test steps it's like an array so basically it will follow the sequential order so in this case we have two test steps the test step one is uh, t00 underscore example which has the request uh, method git and the url and it will extract the uh, title using the regex and paragraph again uh, simple uh, regex and then it will validate whether the status code is equals to 200 or not so basically it will fire up the http request and then it will make sure it has the status code 200 if it is 200 it will pass otherwise it will fail and also it will extract the title and the paragraph and then it will print it in your console and the next step is t00 underscore example underscore 404. So here we are sending some URL which is not there. The resource is not present in the server. So it will yield 404. So it will check for the status 404. And then if it is 404, it will pass. Otherwise, it will fail. 
So this is very simple hello world test. So now let us see something little advanced. So how you can parameterize your test. So parameterization means testing your requests with multiple sets of data so that you can simulate the real world situation. So here again, the directives is config, which has the name, variables, and we are mentioning the input file. So input file, again, it's a simple CSV where it will have your test data. And we are using the parameters. So this is a new object. So you have to uh, enter the structure, basically the uh, syntaxes, your uh, columns. So here in this CSV, I have two columns, user and job. So that is why I am separating using the hyphen. And then again, I am using the parameterize function, which will uh, read the value from the input file. And again, I'm using some various strategies. So one of the strategies, it will take some uh, random and then I'm just splitting the column using the uh, hyphen. So basically what it will do is it will read the user comma job from the uh, rec res underscore data dot CSV and then it will just send it along with your request. Again, we have the base URL we have already seen. Now, next step is test steps. So here we are just creating the user but we are reading it from the CSV file. So here the data, so this is our payload, name equals user, job equals job. So basically it will read the data from the CSV file and then it will just send it and then it will extract the body.id and body.created at. So very simple test case, nothing fancy here, just to demonstrate the feature. So now let us see some uh, commands uh, which will be you will be using it frequently uh, with respect to HTTP runner. So all the commands starts with H or P and hyphen V will display the version. And if you want to run your test, you can use the run command. And if you want to generate the report, you can use the uh, gen HTML report. And if you want to run your load test, you can use the boom uh, feature. So here you have to mention boom and uh, your YAML file, and you have to mention your spawn count, which is 100 threads and spawn rate, uh, which is 10 here. And if you want to create your project from scratch, scaffolding, you can use the HRP start project. And if you want to convert from uh, one entity to another entity, for example, in this case, we are converting from uh, .hir to .yaml. And similarly, you can convert from Swagger, Curl, so many converters are available uh, using uh, this function, you can access it. So these are the, some of the commands. Uh, you, it will be very useful uh, to begin uh, HRP. So now let us dive into a quick demo and see how HTTP runner will be very helpful uh, for your project. So this is my simple uh, HTTP runner uh, GitHub uh, repository. So this repository has some sample test cases, which has uh, some uh, intermediate and advanced uh, concepts uh, uh, test cases. You can refer this for your syntax purpose. And also I have mentioned the clean steps to install the HRP. As I mentioned earlier, this bash script might not work in uh, some flavor of Linux. So here you go, the alternative uh, steps. So first step is to download the uh, zip file here. As you see, we are downloading the latest version of a uh, zip file. And uh, next we are extracting it and then we are just uh, putting it into the uh, bin uh, folder. So let us uh, follow this. Right now, I don't have HRP installed. As you see here, if I type HRP, uh, it will say uh, command not found. So let us install this. So let us uh, just copy this wget command and let us uh, paste it here and hit enter. So this will download the uh, tar file. So now if you see here, we have the uh, tar file, which is HRP version 4.2.0. So now the next step is to extract this using the tar command, just to copy and paste this one here. So this will extract the uh, tar file. So now we can uh, remove the uh, downloaded uh, tar file here so that uh, you will have some uh, space saved in your system. So now, as you see here, HRP, uh, which is executable. So we need to change the uh, mode to executable. So you can use uh, ch mode plus x HRP. And then uh, let us move this to a uh, bin folder so that you can access it from any terminal session. So you have to use uh, sudo here because uh, you need uh, elevated privilege to move it to uh, user uh, slash bin. So now if you see here, I don't have the HRP executable, but I do have license readme and change 
let me uh, remove this because we don't uh, need now we are uh, clean here so now if you enter hrp uh, you can see the uh, version basically http runner which is an open source api testing tool and license and usage available commands flags etc so now you can just type hrp iphone v just to make sure everything is working fine you can see the version is 4.2.0 so now you can also see which hrp so where it is installed you can see user bin hrp so this is how you start installing uh, hrp in your linux box you can also install in mac os and also in windows so now you can also uh, scaffold a project so basically you need to use hrp start project and my test so this will uh, start creating a project for you so this will uh, if you just uh, type uh, ll you can see my test and you can see the tree view of uh, my test so this is how the uh, structure will look for any uh, scaffold project but we don't really need this at this moment so let me just uh, remove this so now let me go to uh, my uh, gits folder so we are going to clone this repository so let me just clone this so let me use a gh repo clone and paste here so this will uh, clone the http runner so now let me open this in code so this is our uh, github repository now let me just expand the app folder here and as you see uh, the hir folder test cases and other uh, extra miscellaneous files here and let me just expand the uh, test cases so inside the test cases folder we have example.yaml and also we have the uh, request uh, data so this is the example you have seen it in the slide so let me just execute this since you're already familiar with the structure where we have the config and also we have uh, two test steps to execute this you need to use hrp command and run and you need to go inside the folder which is app test cases and example.yaml and if you hit enter so this will send two requests uh, to the example.com and also example.com slash 404 and then it will just uh, display the uh, results for us so as you see here there are uh, uh, two requests one is the uh, 200 success and also here as you see 404 but this might not be helpful because we are just uh, doing a smoke test but what if i want something uh, in a html report definitely uh, you can generate it using the uh, hyphen hyphen uh, generate uh, html report command so this will generate the uh, report folder in the current directory and then uh, it will uh, store it in your html format so as you see here on the left side we have the reports folder and let me open this in a uh, uh, browser as you see here this is the uh, sample api test report it's not fancy as other commercial tools or uh, as in gemeter but it will give you the high level summary as you see here start at duration platform statistics and etc and you can also see the uh, request details so for each request it will say uh, the status and also it will have the log info if you just click on a log button here it will display the request response and other validators it's not fancy but it will be very useful for a quick debugging purpose so now let me just clear my screen and let us open uh, something little advanced so in this case let us go with uh, request uh, data param dot yaml so this particular uh, example again uh, which has the uh, parameterization concept so here we have the test data file so if you just expand the uh, request uh, data.csv as you see here we have uh, two columns user comma job so this data will be read in a runtime and then it will be sent along with your request so now if you just uh, open your uh, data underscore param.yaml file as you see here we are sending uh, multiple requests one is post put and uh, delete so basically it will create update and delete the user and also we are using the extract method uh, the correlation concept so here we are extracting the id and then we are using this user underscore id in our line number 35 which is in the separate request so basically we are extracting the information here and then we are just passing it in the subsequent request so this is the uh, core concept of correlation of course you can extract it header body so wherever you want but in this case we are extracting it from the body so now let me uh, execute this again hrp uh, run and you have to go inside the folder which is uh, test cases and slash 
rec res uh, data param dot yaml and hit enter as you see it will execute successfully so here first it will send the 200 request which is the post and then put and again uh, delete so everything is success as you see here so this is how you execute your uh, extraction and data parameterization together in a simple uh, yaml configuration so now let us start running some uh, quick load test so i'm not going to put more load on the public website we are not supposed to do so now uh, what we can do instead we let us uh, run something uh, very simple so let us execute app uh, test cases and uh, regress uh, and then let us use the uh, spawn rate as uh, say uh, a three and we have to pass another parameter which is uh, spawn count so spawn count is the total uh, number of uh, threads basically so spawn count as also three so basically three requests uh, with uh, uh, three uh, threads and hit enter so this will uh, put some load to the uh, backend server and then it will display it in the uh, statistics basically you don't uh, get to know about the each uh, re uh, request response but instead you will get something in a uh, summary report so it will print every three seconds so as you see here every three seconds you will get some table format and uh, at the end you will see the uh, the comprehensive uh, report you cannot generate something uh, html report uh, for the load test but you can uh, use it for your smoke test so this html report is not yet implemented this will be implemented uh, pretty soon i believe so here as you see uh, three requests sorry uh, 12 requests and uh, 240 uh, milliseconds uh, median and average minimum maximum you can see other uh, details so this is how you run a quick uh, load test in uh, hrp but if you want to run uh, in a distributed manner of course you can do it but this is uh, beyond uh, the scope of this uh, video and there is uh, one more thing you can do uh, http stat here so let me just copy this and let me uh, run this so before that we need to add the uh, full path so app test cases slash example dot yaml so this http stat will give you the client side uh, statistics basically it starts from dns lookup to the uh, content transfer and it will give you total uh, duration so this will be very helpful if you want to have something end-to-end uh, uh, -end, how your uh, browser behaves starting from the uh, lookup to uh, the content transfer so this will give you some graphical uh, visual re representation of your request so there are so many commands uh, uh, available with respect to hrp if you see hrp uh, again uh, boom to run a load test build uh, if you want to build plugin for the testing and completion for the auto completion uh, if you want to have uh, something uh, auto completion for uh, hrp you can definitely generate the auto completion and you can convert uh, to json yaml go test pytest test and you also you can run something uh, integrated curl command you can uh, uh, dns uh, resolution and then you can do some ping command uh, start project trace route so there are so many network later uh, extra utilities are available uh, within the hrp so this is how you get started with hrp and of course uh, it is uh, mainly for uh, api uh, testing basically but of course if you want to use it for your uh, ui based testing you can do that by generating the hir file and then you can convert it but that might be too many uh, work if it is very complex ui if you have there are so many correlations you have to do so uh, you have to spend uh, your time accordingly but definitely uh, http runner is apt tool for uh, api performance especially api performance and uh, if you want something a go based tool uh, definitely you can uh, check it out http runner so thanks for watching uh, have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel